Hello you guys, today I'm going to be showing you the LEGO 2019 Zane minifigure from Ninjago. So i kind of been wanting to do a review on one of these 2019 figures for a while, because one, well, one of the Ninjago ones, because I've been wanting to talk about this new mask piece, because I originally saw the leaked images of these figures, and I really disliked the mask, and after a while, it kind of started growing on me, and I think I'm... I kind of like it, but I still have a lot to say about it not being very good. And I'm going to start off with saying a lot of the other Ninjago figures from this wave are not going to be as detailed as this one. Uh, a lot of them just have one solid printing, like color, on their torso. For a good example, Kai, it's just the red torso, um, very low leg print, like not a lot of leg printing, and then just some gold dragon printing on the torso. But this one has a lot of black highlights on it and stuff as well, which makes it a bit better than a lot of the other ones, so that's why I decided to get this one, also because it's the only one that I could find. And, like, that wasn't sold out on eBay. And these are on eBay, I believe, right now still. There are still a couple more, I think. So you should go look for those if you want, or if you are interested in getting one of these early. So now I'm just going to start actually going over the figure, and I'm going to start off with the legs and go out from there, and I'll end with the hood opinions. And yeah, so for the legs, you get some nice printing down there, the weird sandal printing that they've been doing a lot lately on Ninjago figures, and we have some, uh, like, you know, some printing there, the belt coming down here, and then just some little straps right there. I like how the new Zane color scheme also has some gray in it. That's pretty interesting because they took out the silver color of him himself. So I like how they took that and kind of put it in the actual like uh, suit for him. On here, he just has these two um, like stripes of uh, like clothing along here, and one of them has some dragon printing right there. I'm gonna get a bit of a close up on that. That looks pretty cool. I like that printing, and that continues onto a lot of the other figures in this. I'm going to go back here. The dragon printing also continues from here onto the back as well, which I think looks pretty cool. They have his uh, logo back there, and we'll put that hood back on now. Uh, no arm printing, of course, because, you know, they usually don't do that with Ninjago figures. And on here, this is the face. You have the one that they used in a lot of the sets from the Lego Ninjago movie, which I really do like that they're starting to use the uh, normal yellow Zane head again. Because I was kind of getting annoyed with the silver one, and now he's a bit more human, which I like that. And the, yeah, now I'm going to finally go for the hood piece. This thing is weird. It's, it's, I really liked what they did with the Lego Ninjago movie, and I was really hoping they'd stay with that. But they just, you know, changed it again. So, it's, it's okay. I mean, there's a big, there's a lot of detailing back here with some nice, like, lines of, you know, this piece of, there's like a piece of cloth that's separate from the thing itself coming around here, that, not an actual piece of cloth, but, you know, pr like, molded on here, and it comes off right there, and it's pretty long compared to a lot of the other ones, which are just a little tie on the back right there. I, this is like the one thing that I like about this mask, I like how it goes all the way down like that, it looks pretty cool. Uh, on the front here, uh, this is kind of what a lot of the other masks look like, except it goes out a lot more, as you notice that. It just kind of really sticks out there, and I feel like that looks kind of good from the front a little bit, and then, you know, not really from the side. It looks very big and kind of, like, really sticks out. The top has some weird, um, thing where it goes down right here and then keeps going back. And then here, um, there is something that, uh, I really wish they did something with, but they didn't. And that's right here. It really feels like there should have been something printed right here, like Zane's uh, logo right there. Maybe they could have had that printed on here. Like, I really would have preferred that. Because this space looks like there should have been something printed right there. It just leaves it really open. But maybe if they reuse these for the next season minifigures, hopefully we'll get more uh, printing on here. I'm also going to show this hood with the back facial expression, which I have to say looks much better than it with here, because you can't even see the eyebrows. But back here, you can see him. So, yeah, overall, I would say this is a pretty good figure, and I think I'm going to like these 2019 figures. I don't dislike the mask as much as I, as much as I thought I would. I actually kind of enjoy it. I think it looks pretty cool. 
but I do hope that they change it pretty soon, because I don't think I can live with this being the new Ninjago, like, permanent, uh, hood mold. I really like the Ninjago movie ones that they continued to season 8 and 9, and they're changing it again, but, uh, I think that they'll probably grow out of this one and change it into another thing again, and I really hope that does happen, but this is good for, you know, a temporary thing. So that's pretty much all I have to say for this, and I will hopefully be getting more of the 2019 figures, not specifically from Ninjago, to do more reviews on for you guys. And until next time, I will, yeah, see you guys next time.